Hi everyone, Ironclad Cobra here and welcome to another TrimUI Smart Pro video. Today I'm featuring the new firmware 104. Many people asked me on Facebook and YouTube to share a quick video. There you go. The new firmware which is the version 104. Um, it was released on the 13th of April. That would be lots of fun. And of course I updated from the old uh, OS or firmware. Let me show you uh, the cool features it has. And of course I'll include all the steps in the video description as well. So let's have a look together. This is the interface. They have one line of game systems instead of two from the old system. Let me show you some cool updates and features. Now it supports Portmaster or Ports, as well as we have Moonlight, Streaming, we have Media Player, so you can play videos or audio files as well. And it's worth mentioning that the PSP emulator, PPSSPP, now has Falcon support. So that should improve the PSP performance or gameplay. Of course, I'll make some gameplay videos with PSP to show you how Falcon is improving the gameplay. These are the basic uh, systems that we have also on the previous OS. But I think the highlights are the Vulcan support, Moonlight streaming, and Media Player, as well as Ports or Portmaster. And of course the process is quite simple. Let me just go through it quickly in the video today. As I mentioned, everything will be in the video description as well. So first of all, you need to download, go to their GitHub page and download the firmware 104. The link will be in the video description. Download it on your PC. Unzip the file to get the disk image. Copy it or burn it on your micro SD card. Just a blank micro SD card. 8 gigs or 16 gigs should be okay using Balena Etcher or Rufus and then take the SD card out of your PC insert it in your device boot up you will see that Trimio Smart Pro is going to copy the new firmware on your internal storage after the boot up is over shut down the device take out the SD card that has the firmware 104 put it aside and then grab your other SD card that has your SD card pack or package or file structure with all your game ROMs that I showed you how to do it in the previous video and then put your other SD card with your game ROMs in the system and then it will boot up into the new firmware version or release 104. I think you will have great fun with the new firmware as I said the Vulcan support should improve PSP play and I'll do another or separate video showing PSP gameplay but just having the ability to use uh, ports moonlight streaming and media player are cool features to have okay guys that would be a short video today as I mentioned all the steps will be provided in the video description Thank you so much for watching, feel free to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and always remember, we don't stop gaming because we grow old, we grow old because we stop gaming.